Hi, this is Tang Lim. I'm an extension professor of University of Missouri. Um, I would like to present to you this poster uh, about pool plot sediment basins, mainly designed for uh, dairy manure treatments. The co-authors of this poster include Mr. Tim Cantor and also Troy Chalkley. Um, basically, uh, a pool plot sediment basin is a pa passive solids removal system that can reduce uh, operation time and cost of the overall manure management system uh, because it acts both as a sediment basin and also a pre-lagoon solids filter system. Uh, it was designed uh, as part of a collaborative effort between the USDA NRCS and several small dairy producers in Missouri. So the objectives of this poster is to provide some of the background information considering the performance, the cost, and maintenance. Um, most of the uh, information is already published in the University of Missouri Extension publications, uh, EQ302. Um, you should be able to find it from the University of Missouri Extension website. Um, so some of the critical design considerations includes the size, the hydraulic loading, where this uh, pool plot sediment basin is located between the barn and the lagoons. Um, it's also very important to make sure that the concrete entry ramp should have a minimum slope of 12 to 1 or about 5 degrees. Uh, a minimum depth of 6 feet is needed to keep the saddle, the saddle solids of the discharge, discharge stream. Um, so uh, when the larger, denser particles accumulated on the uh, basin floor, there are some floating materials that would generally form a floating mat on the surface. The mat uh, usually acts also as a natural filter to retain even more of the solids from uh, entering or leaving with the waste stream. So what we have found is that uh, we were seeing about 13% uh, of the nitrogens and about 28% of the phosphorus being retained by such a system. In general, the owners are satisfied with the performance uh, because this is a relatively low maintenance, low cost, low technology for a dairy system with a flushing, uh, flushing system. So um, the primary benefit is that the removal of the manure solids uh, can lead to much longer intervals between the lagoon agitations and the uh, uh, lagoon pump out. So some of the future additional work include uh, maybe to sample just before or during the clean out to better document some of the details of the solids retained, uh, maybe to evaluate the performance uh, when different types of beddings were used, uh, and also uh, more systematically document the cost savings relative to some other more popular uh, mechanical type of uh, solid separations. Um, this uh, work is supported by a USDA NIFA grant, uh, along with several collaborators from University of Nebraska Extension, University of Arkansas, Case Western Reserve, and also Colorado School of Mines. Um, again, most of the details of this um, work has been uh, included in the Missouri Extension Publications EQ302. Uh, if you're interested in talking more about this, please feel free to reach me uh, best by the email limt at missouri.edu. Thank you.